Look at you guys. Y'all came back for day 13 of Vita. Your support means everything to me. So let's go ahead, knock this out, and get it in with... Wedding shooting day. And we're walking. Where to? I don't know. Why is there an onion in the middle of the street? Am I starting to get on your nerves yet? No. no? Not with recording you every day? Every single day, you're not getting tired of it. Not at all. You don't even want to talk. You don't, you don't want to say the words. No, you just gonna shake your head. It's too early. You the one got me out the house. Yeah, cause we have to do stuff. But it's too early, and you mad cause you woke up to do stuff. It's called being responsible. Oh. A responsible adult. Oh, okay. And speaking of being an adult, I promise you, this was the only time that we got to sit down and chill all day long do you guys remember Manny Fresh and Baby's uh, what's the name of the song I can't remember the name of the song hold on it's Gucci suit Gator boots and Gucci shoes. shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> the name of the song was Still Fly. And the lyrics go Gator boots with a pimped out Gucci suit. Ain't got no job. See, I told you. What? You told me it wasn't Ain't Got No Job after that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I told you that I got a quarter tank of gas, went before no, the other part. But when I was trying to sing it, I was like, Ain't got no job. You were like, No. But you said all of Gucci shoes. So, but you still told me that I was wrong on that part, and I know I was right. She was wrong. All right, guys. So I'm already starting to get everything ready for to sh ready to shoot this wedding. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have nothing in the background. Uh, trying to get ready to shoot this wedding, but a couple of things I still have to do uh, is cut my hair, get my clothes together. Cards are clean. Batteries are charged and charging uh, and Chastity is still doing her hair. Uh, we're going to try to leave here probably around like two so we can make it there about three. Let's get it. Weddings are something that I don't slack on whenever it comes to actually getting there on time and making sure that I have everything that I need. But key to that is looking the part too. So I had to make sure that I was nice, clean, fresh so i got rid of the beard and everything this time gone Whew. i need to hire an assistant okay so i made it to the venue and don't record you <laughs> this is my home attention good day sir good day <laughs> all right so we are here well i'm here getting ready to shoot the wedding i'm scoping out the spots and that door is locked. Let me get out this one now. Look at all this greenery. I think I'm going to use the outside to get some shots of the bridal party after the wedding. But I'm more concerned with this water that's falling from the sky right now. Uh, precipitation. And thunder cracks. Because whenever thunder cracks, that means that there's rain coming and if rain comes i don't know what i'm gonna do i have no idea you know what i said i was afraid of that stuff a minute and a half before i just recorded that last take it just started pouring out of nowhere I'm gonna try my best not to turn up in here today, but the DJ already got it lit. And 
venue is sick. And I keep on looking at the screen because I need to make sure that the stuff that I want to show you guys is in the shot. Is in the shot. I honestly did not know that whenever I went to college, I would make the lasting connections with people that I actually made. I thought those were the type of connections that you made with people that you grew up with. But I can honestly say that it's been an honor and a privilege to be chosen by all of my friends from college to be the photographer at their wedding. Being the photographer at a wedding period is an honor and a privilege, but to be chosen by your friends is something completely different because you get to capture moments on a day that will last forever and capture moments that they will remember and tell their kids and their kids will tell their grandkids uh, moments that you'll be able to go back and revisit. So Gwen and her husband now Keith are going to have memories to last many lifetimes. The wedding was absolutely awesome. It was a joy to meet new people and completely awesome to rekindle and rejoin briefly with friends from school and see the joy on their faces to actually see what they've been up to and watch as they embark on this new journey in life. With that being said, if you're watching this and you're in a somewhat middle part of your life, young, in your late teens, in college, be weary of the people that you're connecting yourself to because if there aren't the kind of people that you will want to be around for the rest of your life or someone that is going to reach back out to you to see how you're doing or maybe you can help them or they can help you you need to re-evaluate those friends and actually sit back and think about what it is that you want in life and who you want to connect yourself to i really appreciate the fact that Gwen thought of me to actually be her photographer and I'm happy that her day went over very well and her dresses keyword dresses were dope as you know what I'm not gonna cuss in the voiceover because it's too clear <laughs> all right so I just came to the conclusion that my wife is a stalker no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Chastity bought a like a bag full of books about a week ago. She's been reading this one particular book. It's called uh, say that one more time. Is the mic on? Yeah, the mic is on. Did you turn it on? Because I turned it off. Oh my God. No, it's on. The lady that owned the book before Chastity, she actually wrote her name, full name, inside the book. Tell me why Chastity looked the woman up on Facebook and found the woman on Facebook. And it was like, <laughs> was like, how do you know that's her? I said she lives in Plano. Plano. She lives in Plano, Texas. Like, <laughs> dude, like that's creepy. No, it's not. That is creepy. That I is. just wanted to see whose book this was, that's, and maybe we could connect. That's creepy as. You want to connect with that old lady? Yeah. Why? She looks nice. She looks nice. No, Did, didn't you see that woman the uh, uh, weekend at grandpa at the grandparents where that woman like told the little girl to get in the stove? Okay, so Chastity is a stalker, and we're going to leave it at that. But we made our way back to Allen, and we got followed by that storm, and you could see it in the distance, all on the lake and everything. It was crazy. But I had Chastity continue to record because the sky was just absolutely fantastically beautiful, all those other words. Check it out. The colors were spot on. I love it. Okay, guys, so we literally just walked in the house. Today was fun. It was good to see those people. Uh, the rain held off in uh, long enough for me to get photos in, and now I have two vlogs to edit. I'll see you guys next. No, I'll see you guys Monday. Per the usual, guys, thank you so much for coming and checking out the YouTube channel. We are going to be back on schedule starting tomorrow. But before we go, I need you guys to tell me, what's your favorite dessert? I think mine is cheesecake, but I like milkshakes too. What's yours? Leave it in the comment section. I'll see you tomorrow.